I'm not sure what to call this. Either a what the fuck or a rant. Because it's going to be a little bit of both. Bear with me. I'm reading from today's union leader. Shoulder to shoulder against deadly force bill. Override vote today. Law enforcement officials urge the state Senate to uphold the governor's veto. 30 police chief officers, uh, county attorneys, and sheriffs stood with Governor John Lynch and Attorney General Michael Delaney Tuesday to urge the state Senate to uphold Lynch's veto of a bill on use of deadly force. The Senate meets today to consider whether to override the veto of Senate Bill 88, which expands the legal use of deadly force. It is the st it's the state's version of a stand your ground bill that allows one to use deadly force in response to the threat of deadly force against oneself or another anywhere a person has a legal right to be. Sounds logical to me. I see no problem with it. The law enforcement community is lined up squarely against the bill and has appeared with Lynch at several stops this summer urging an override. Chiefs and others say SB 88 will make life easier for gangs and drug dealers and do nothing to enhance protections for the average people. Let's see, gangs and drug dealers, do you think they're going to the local gun shop and buying their handguns? Do you think they're going to, you know, oh, say their police chief of their town and saying, uh, yeah, I would like a concealed carry permit in all this? No. Where, and how is this going to make it easier for them? I don't see it. As far as enhanced protections for the common citizen, I conceal carry. I can protect myself. I can protect my loved ones. If I witness something coming on, I can at least draw or flash and say, you, do you really want to go there? I, I, I'm not following this logic. Please, somebody help me here. Lynch said he listened to uh, uh, yeah, where a uh, law enforcement before signing a veto. I came to the same conclusion they did. Senate Bill 88 is dangerous. It is reckless and it is wrong for public safety and it is wrong for New Hampshire. It's wrong for public safety because they cannot defend themselves. They have to rely on the police department. Let's pause and think about this one for a second. The police department responds to crimes. They've already been committed. Delaney said the pending bill eliminates what he called the common sense principle. Now, wait till you hear the common sense. In current law, which says someone should avoid a violent confrontation if it can be done safely. I must retreat before I can pull my weapon to defend myself. I'm sorry, it makes no damn sense to me. That's a what the fuck. Pro-gun groups held a separate event to voice support for the bill and urge an override. 
Spokesman said state law now is slanted in favor of criminals and argued that the law requires ordinary citizens to run away when they are confronted with a threat outside of their own home. They said current law also uh, puts the onus on citizens to prove they have acted properly in using deadly force in self-defense cases. Even when they are exonerated, they incur substantial legal costs because they are forced to hire a lawyer. Some common sense in this bill. Even uh, Evan Knappen, an attor and attorney pro-gun New Hampshire, said, uh, an attorney for pro-gun New Hampshire, said it is irresponsible to say the bill will give criminals freer reign as law enforcement fears. Senate Bill 88 only helps the law-abiding citizens, not the criminal. I think the criminal are going to think twice because they're not going to know if you're concealed carrying or anybody around you is concealed carrying and they can't defend. Representative Jennifer Kofi, uh, Republican Andover, who was part of the Second Amendment sisters, said citizens confronted with violent crime now live in fear they will be prosecuted defending themselves. The bill will be voted on today as one of several that Lynch vetoed. Uh, bills requiring voters to present a photo ID, uh, barring residential sprinkler rules, curbing the regional ga uh, gas house, greenhouse gas initiative, and bringing back car title lending are also on the agenda. An override in the Senate requires 16 votes. Since Senate Bill 88 passed 19 to 5, it would take four senators to switch their votes for the veto to be sustained. Delaney said there is no need to change the existing law. Current law, he said, does not require a person to retreat for a threat of deadly force unless it can be done in complete safety. And again, you have to prove that there was no safety there. You had to do it. And again, you've got to pay for a friggin' lawyer. Deadly force is also legal now when used to stop a burglary, kidnapping, or rape, he noticed, after you retreat. You've got to back away from it first. He said no one has cited a single case where a person was charged for using deadly force in self-defense. No, but they racked up massive criminal or er, lawyer fees defending themselves. The legal burden is on the state to show that deadly force was not justified when one claims it was used in self-defense, he said. Uh, tell that to the court system. Current law requires a person to retreat from a confrontation only when it can be done in complete safety. And then again, define complete safety. Within one's home, there is no duty to retreat, he said. As it should be, that's the castle doctrine. The president of the New Hampshire Association of Chiefs of Police uh, Pittsfield Police Chief Robert Wareham said SB 88 is one of the most dangerous bills to come before us in recent years and yet to talk to the police chief in my little town he's more than happy that most of the town concealed carries it makes his job easier imagine that The override vote will figure in the endorsements of the group, yada, yada, yada. Here's the situation. I come walking along. Someone's got a knife to your throat. 
the way New Hampshire's law is, I can't even flash and say, do you really want to do this? Because I can go to jail for criminal threatening. Ward Bird. This would put a blanket on that, too. If I came across you and you were being raped, instead of running away, I could pull it out and shoot the fucker. If he's doing it at gunpoint or knife point, which he's going to be doing, What do you think? Is it a rant? Is it a what the fuck? I think it's both. Anywho, peace out.